it is Everton nil, Manchester United free, Manchester United collecting a delicious, scrumptious three points today and three points on Sunday night to end the week for Manchester United fans to just enjoy the week and say, you know what? I've had a good week this week because Manchester United have scored three goals. We are out of the, the negative goal difference. We're on zero right now. We six, sit about six points behind second place. You know what? We're the most informed team in the Premier League. So Manchester United is all looking good right now, but the performances in the previous year were shit. But today, the second half was all right today because I enjoyed that. I know you guys enjoyed that. Manchester United winning their free, winning their game against Everton. Delightful, mwah, scrumptious. A delightful goal from Alejandro Ganacho. A sexy, exquisite finish by Marshall as well. It was so good. As, uh, uh, uh. There's so much to enjoy in today's game. And their performance as well went up well with it in the second half. But the first half, I have to say, whew, we was lucky because we was kind of getting cooked by Everton. Everton with 24 shots at Manchester United. Whew, damn, damn, damn. Let's go straight into it because the first 45 minutes, uh, when we scored early and that goal, that delicious early goal, because we don't score early goals, Manchester No, we don't. That cross from Diego Dalo and then a wonderful interplay as well with Rashford being involved. But that cross from Diego Dalo to find Alejandro Ganacho. Ganacho with the over the head kick, a scissors kick, a bicycle, whatever you want to call it. Alejandro Ganacho, Rooney S goal. Rooney S vibes it gave me against Manchester City in the Manchester Derby. What a delicious goal. It was mwah, mwah, mwah. Viva Ganacho with that goal, you know. Oh my God. God, Nacho, what a goal, what a goal. It took my breath away, you know. It took my breath away. And it was so, uh, love it. I screamed like a little girl. It was so good. Ganacho with that goal, setting Manchester United up. But you would have thought Manchester United would have controlled that game as soon as we scored the first goal. No, we didn't. We was in, in a mess. Everton had opportunities to make it 1-1, 2-1, 3-1. Thank God for Andre Onano, who was saving us with excellent saves as well. He is really good at one-on-one -on -one as well. He's good at that as well. He's a keeper at first, at most. And he does his job. The second half, when it was 1-0 to Manchester United at halftime, second half was thinking, yes, we need to go and claim and score an early goal and win this game comfortably. Manchester United came out the second half so much in control of that second half. I absolutely loved it, you know. We killed Everton too death in that second half they had no hope a goal coming from marcus rashford and the referee as well he said no go at first you see va order against us but varchester united said you know what we're gonna step in here and said tell that referee marshall got fouled by ashley young and ashley young thank you for one you know our former player giving us an assist and 2-0 marcus rashford marcus rashford scoring a goal telling um lucy um i mean Laurie, sorry, sorry, um, Lucy, Lucy Loy, or Lucia Loy, whatever her name is, man, I keep forgetting her name, um, yes, telling Lucia Loy, yes, we are back, I'm back in, scoring that goal, Mark Rashford with that penalty, Lucia Loy must be, Loy must be thinking, yes, he's back, Rashford is back with a goal, but he played shit. And I always say it before, Lucio and Lloyd, Lucio Lloyd, please stay with Marcus Rashford for Everton, you know, for Everton. Because be God, uh, we know his GH ratio is poor when he's not with you. And he got that goal. That was for you, Lucio. You know, stay with my boy Rashford. He's not the same without you. It's honestly, it's the truth. He's not the same without you. And making it 2 0 for Manchester United, Manchester United was in cruise control. But the goal, again, Bruno Fernandes with the assist, looking for Martial. Martial for a classy finish, over the top, chip, dink, whatever he does, French finesse, French, oh, je ne sais quoi, oh, magnifique, finished by Martial, and it was 3-0 to Manchester United, 3-0 whitewash, 3-0 and out, Everton couldn't do anything, there was 3-0 down and under, we won that game. It's fair and square. What a beautiful match it was for Manchester United in the second half, you know. Full time it was for Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag sitting in the stand with a touchline band. Could not be any happier, just like I am. Could not be any happier, you know. Player-wise today, I thought Ganacho in the first half and in this game had a good game. 
uh, for Manchester United. Rashford had an abysmal game, but got the penalty, got the goal. Bruno Fernandes was abysmal as well. He was horrible with the decision making. It made me laugh at times with the opportunity to square it in and give a tap in for someone like Marshall, but he didn't. He didn't at all. He was shit, but he got his assist as always. Andre Onano was excellent in goal. But my boy, Colby Minor was a difference maker midfield. He made Scott McTominay and Bruno Fernandes look like shit. Instructing them to, 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 to tell them where to be to receive balls. But this guy is just the one. Generational talent he is, you know. Man of the match to me, guys, has to go to Colby Minor. Sensational. Generational talent, as I said before. Generational talent. What a guy. What a man. And I can't wait for him to, to develop into something special. Big up to Colby. He deserves everything. Don't kid the match. It could go to Bruno or Rashford because I thought they weren't good as well. And Scott McTominay wasn't good. Manchester United fans, we are six points behind second place. About eight points behind top place. You know what? It's not looking too bad, you know. We're not looking too bad. T two away from the top four. Is where we take it one game at a time. Kobe Mano, hope this is the start of many matches as well. Wonderful talent, deserves it. But big up to you guys as well. We're back live tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. This is your boy, Alvarez, but this has been your match reaction. Let me know who your man in the match is, your donkey of the match, your thoughts in the comments as always. Till next time, peace, love. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Boop, boop.